Good morning. Today we're gonna get ready together. I just woke up and I'm gonna show you all the steps I take in order to beautify myself at the age of 56. Here we go. So before I even wash my hair, I'm going to put a leave-in conditioner all over my hair in the box in the description box the name of it um when i washed my hair last time i didn't put enough conditioning so that's why now they're a bit drier i've noticed the difference so i do this to protect my hair from being supple and not brittle because i want my hair to go long so it's this long for now and I'm putting it up for the time being. I'm just putting it up and I'll get back to it after that I come back from washing my face with just water. I only use water. I don't use anything else in the morning because I need the sebum that my skin has produced. You see this? I need that sebum because Montreal is very dry and I, and I have dry skin, so I need my skin to be moistened humidified i don't know i'll be back so because i hold my phone so much right i'm like this all the time i'm actually having pain here so i know i'm not supposed to hold my phone so much but I even but do is to hold on to my phone but anyways i apply artery plus okay uh where it hurts and it actually goes away so PSA, get this. I know it's available all over Canada. I'm not sure about the States, but oh my God, it takes away the pain. I'm also doing exercises <coughs> and, and that's it. So let's continue. Okay, I found it. This is what I, I bought this at the dollar store, Dollarama. And this is what I, you know, I used to hold my phone instead of using my hand. PSA. All right, so I have washed my face with with water. Now I'm going to apply CeraVe Hyaluronic Acid. No, it's a CeraVe cream with Hyaluronic Acid just around my eyes area for now, okay? So I have to go buy a new model, model, bottle. And they also have CeraVe for eyes which has hyaluronic acid, but also has peptides and ceramide. So it has a little bit more properties that can help the wrinkles be more crunch, quenched. Oh my God, it's early in the morning. You're literally with me early in the morning. So I'm just, they're just being quenched. And this is for me who lives in a country where it's, well, I live in a country. In my city, it's cold, so we have heating on and it dries the skin crazy so now i'm going to put uh this what is this ultra repair cream intense hydration okay because again dry skin dry air and so i like to put it first i like to put it on my the back of my hand and i'm going to apply more cream on my wrinkles okay well i shouldn't say my wrinkles I should say in well it's it is wrinkles but really it's uh this side of my uh this part of my face because it's what gets so dry with the heating it it looks crappy and forget about looking old it's it it hurts to me it hurts you know because it goes <laughs> so anyway so the the solution is to always moisturize so as you guys know, I was in Panama, and in Panama, the humidity is 99%. Never needed any of this. Never needed any of this, huh? None. Honestly, none. Because the air did it for me. <laughs> okay, so now the eye air is protected. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply vitamin C. Right now, I'm using this vitamin C. Wait. Where's the camera? I never know where the camera is. So my vitamin C, I start in the groove and then I tap it out. Okay, same thing up here. All right, okay. 
same thing over the nose whatever is remnant i glow on my neck so what a vitamin c does from what i understand because i'm no esthetician is that it's going to unify your skin and it's gonna keep it from doing more hyper pigmentation you see here this is like from the sun okay from i never sun tan my face but it's from living okay so i did that now i'm gonna wait five minutes and i'll be back now that this is doing while i'm waiting the five minutes i mean i already want to do other stuff is i'm going to put sorry nivea lip balm okay with spf And I'm not afraid to go, you know, all around because what I'm doing is I'm protecting my lips from getting those extra line. If you already have them, okay, uh, the best comeback uh, would be to keep on moisturizing your lips as much as possible. I know I have girlfriends who actually did Botox over uh, those lines and it works out for them. But, you know, then you have to pay and you have to go over all the time, blah, 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 stuff like that. But anyways. If you're less than 20 years old, don't go under the sun and don't smoke. But that's another story. Okay, so I'm done. Now, over this, I'm going to put more hyaluronic acid. And I like to start with the grooves. Okay, I always like to go where there's more uh, ravage of time. <laughs> oh my God, I can't wait to buy a new bottle because... Uh, uh, um... Okay, perfect. And now, here we go. And it might look as if I'm rough on my skin, but I'm not because I'm gingerly touching it. And this, you're going up like this. And everywhere else, it's like tap, 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 tap. When you tap, you promote, you promote uh, blood circulation, which promotes absor better absorption of the product into your pore. The product will never go inside your organs. It's just going to stay in the pore. And each pore has a has a hair. And the hair is like this. So you have to put the cream. No, the hair is like this. So you have to put the cream going up. So the hair goes up and the product can make... Uh, sorry. And the hair... Oops, sorry. No. So the hair goes up and then the product can slide down into the pore. And once it's in the pore, it actually inflames it. And it makes it look as if you don't have wrinkles. But it's actually your skin or your pores inflamed. <laughs> bon, voila. Whatever I have left here, remember I put the extra. I'm still going to go back. And I'm going to put more here. Because this is where it's important for me not to have crappy skin. Because I really don't like that feeling. Oh, sorry about that. Whatever I have left, it's here. I put it over my hand, on my cuticles. I'm also going to put some uh, Copper Tone Glow Brilliant because I like it. It has an SPF and it's a little bit colored and I really like it. Not Just put a little bit, okay? And I like it to put it on my arms and on my belly because of what I'm gonna wear today, you want to see. And just, a, it gives a little, like, you know, especially children, they say, you sparkle. <laughs> and I like it. I, I love I love being uh, tanned. And uh, for me, I find I look, it's my best, makes me feel alive. Today, I'm wearing this red crop top and with my high-waisted cords, cords. For shoes, I'm going to wear these sandals that I bought at H&M. And they are freaking sleek. Freakishly, shly. oh my god, these things are the most comfortable thing ever. Should I need to step out? I'm gonna put this blazer over uh, my outfit. So, uh, this is the top with the pants. See how high waisted they are? They're good for me because I don't have, like, um, you know, I don't have an indentation in my waist. So this is the best I can do. I really like them. It took me, I swear to God, it took me so many hours to find these pants. And uh, 
so I'm okay. Do I need them? No, but helps helps me feel like I'm on I'm on trend. So give me a second with the shoe. So the reason why I'm wearing this is because uh, Montreal is not cold yet. Oops, where's my camera? Montreal is not cold yet. So even though it's dry indoors because we're you know we're inside but it's not cold so i cannot wear anything that is too warm because i'm gonna die of heat so i changed shoes i'm actually wearing running shoes okay <laughs> i didn't like the look it didn't 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 speak to me and also uh i have to get myself tops that are fitter fitted more fitted which I don't have because you know it wasn't where I just don't have but it's not as if I have to buy you know 60 new tops you know maybe one or two and we'll see what comes around but for now this is what I'm wearing I'm gonna back up so you can see the whole look oh damn I have to move this one second there you go so nice and comfortable high waisted not to stop you because it's really it's still like I said it's still warm here and you know, and Miss Menopause is like a real thing. I changed my mind again. I finally didn't like the red top on me. So I'm wearing this navy blue sweater. It's too bad that I, my camera is not working. I have to do everything on my iPhone. But <clears throat> this navy blue sweater with my running shoes, it's more moi. And this is cool. This is cool. We got it. We got it. Yeah. Okay. This says Elisa. Elisa. Lisa. By the way, I buy this by the truck floor or the truck floor because in winter I wear so much black and lint is lint. Let's do our makeup. So you're going to say, what the hell is that, Lisa? Is that a corrector? No, it's not. It's sunscreen. It's Avin 50 SPF. It's mineral based. That's why it has so much of a white cast. And when it was first given to me by a friend that it was too white for her because it isn't for me, right? <laughs> um, I said, oh my God, I'm never going to use this again. But because I want to illuminate the center of my face so I can have that glow, um, I said, oh, that's it. I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this as my corrector. And at the same time, it works as an SPF. So then I'm going to take the SPF and I'm going to like pounce it through my whole face. Wait, I'm missing some here. We cannot forget the grooves here. So let me pounce away. Okay, girls, I'm giving you all my secrets on how to be beautiful and looking lovely and energized. So now, after I've done this, I'm going to put a loose powder. Right now, I'm using banana powder from NYX. And I like to move my nose so I make sure that it is, it's well put here. So remember all those creams that I kept putting on my eye? Well, that's gonna make that here, it doesn't dry up and it doesn't do all those lines. Like it's gonna do the lines, but not as much as if I didn't put all those cream. And then I'm gonna put cream over that. Makeup is an illusion. Now I'm going to put my concealer, so I'm going to tap it here and then tap it here and then I'm going to move my nose and I like to put concealer only here, only here. I don't like to put it there because moi, I like to see the dark. It, to me, it's, it's makeup already. And this is my preference. I'm not telling you that you have to do that. But since I started loving my black, like under my eye here, since I started loving it, I'm telling you guys, oh my God, 
my life has gotten so much simpler so much simpler the only thing is i don't like the black here only because i find it doesn't illuminate uh, my face for me you know i don't see it as an illumination like i don't see the illumination here i see the so that's why i put it here only the the concealer you see put it there spread it out go over and spread it out all right and I'm gonna take translucent powder and I'm just going to apply it here and over my eye, here and over my eye. The reason I go over my eye, it's because my eyelid, eyelid becomes oily and that's it. Okay. With my hands, I kind of like stomp it in so like it's packed in there. And then I'm gonna put some bronzer And I like to pull my hair back. So I know a lot of people say that I have rough application, but so we should be using, I learned that you shouldn't hold your pens, your brushes here. You need to hold your brushes here, okay? And you do circular motion. So there, I'm doing that for all those that, you know, say I'm too rough, but I am barely touching my skin. Like I really am, like, so what I'm doing is I'm depositing the product and barely touching. It was taught to me by a girl on the Chanel counter. Cause so, yeah, so, so there you go. On my nose, that's it, that's enough for me. Only because I'm in front of you, I'm gonna give myself a button nose. I don't usually give myself a button nose when I don't do my whole makeup, but I'm getting carried away. <laughs> See? But the nose. Oh. Then I'm going to highlight the tip of my nose. Oh, the number of women that don't like the fact that my nose is shiny. <laughs> it's crazy. So <laughs> they don't. You guys don't know that that only makes me want to put more shiny nose, more shiny nose, more shine on my nose because, because it, that's me, because I like that. So now that I have my button nose, I'm going to put some blush. Girls, I'm putting way more makeup than I'm supposed to. So I just put it here, just a little bit on the nose. Mm -hmm. Might as well put it here too. <laughs> so all this. Okay, there you go. Done, enough. Okay, I like. Now I'm gonna use another bronzer. This one is from NARS, it's Laguna. And it's more golden than the Hula Benefit that I use. So I, I find it has like a golden hue over it. So I go over that. You see how it became golden suddenly? All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna go back with my lip balm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put a bit more cream here because I want the cream to mix in with the powders so that it doesn't crinkle up and go inside the groove this is what works for me again guys i live somewhere where it's very dry so maybe that's why it works for me but it works for me all i can tell you people are always saying you look so youthful Ta -da! okay now uh, the hair so the hair today is gonna stay pretty much as is I'm not doing anything to it. I, you know, maybe I could like curl it, but I'm not in the mood. So this is it. Let me back up so you can see. 
<laughs> it's getting long. I don't fit in the in the screen anymore. So it's pretty much gonna stay as is. I'm not I'm not doing anything. I am done. Oh, I keep forgetting that I have to lower like this. So this is what it looks like. My purse is going to be this. But most probably it's gonna be this. My <laughs> go to the market purse. It's, well, it's not a purse, it's a bag, it's my grocery bag. And most probably it's gonna be this. I just have my wallet in here, take it out, fill this up with grocery and just go home. Okay, so I wanted to say, as I was getting dressed, I'm not used to seeing myself with high-waisted pants. So I'm used to showing off my body. I'm used to, you know, working with my curves, et cetera, et cetera. And sure, I can do that. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, you, you have to dress the way you want to. So bygones are the days that you have to follow the rules. You know, no white after Labor Day and all sorts of stuff like that, okay? So those days are gone and... Um, Wait, what am I lying about? <laughs> yeah, those days are gone. And so now you really wear what makes you feel the most comfortable. The only rules there are is try to make things that they are proportioned to you. Usually use the two-third rule. The two-third rule is, for example, you see me here in the, in the screen, I'm in, smack in the middle. Here, I'm in the two-third of the screen. Here, I'm on the other two-third of the screen. If I'm here, I'm two-third. If I'm here, I'm two-third. <laughs> okay, so same thing with your clothes. So you see, so this is the two-third and this is the one-third, right? Okay, so this is how you, you... So here I have two two-thirds. So the first one is here, one-third, two-third, and the other one is here, two-thirds and one-third. Okay, so it kind of like cancels out if you want, but no, it doesn't cancel out. So it's like that. But what I'm trying to say is that, okay, when I was younger, I used to notice how ladies of a certain age, they looked dated. They didn't look old. They just looked dated because they kept on wearing things that made them look good when they had a certain type of body and they just kept it up. Or they simply gave up and they started wearing comfortable clothes and didn't care how they looked on them, but as long as they were comfortable. And I found that that's what dated them, okay? They didn't stay abreast with the times. So I remember being in my 40s and so, oh, sorry, I remember being in my 40s and still buying magazines for teenagers. So I used to buy a Vogue Teen and uh, Seventeen. I would still read them and Mademoiselle plus my Vogue magazine and Glamour. So I used to have about five magazines a month in the days when, you know, there was an internet. And um, so I would study them avidly. So it wasn't just a study of clothes. It was also a study of uh, social, uh, social, social culture, um, you know, influences, wanted or not. You know, we're always influenced. Even, my, even me, who was a, you know, a radical, rebellious, self-acceptance uh, uh, person, um, we are still influenced. Anyway, so I would buy that and people would just watch me read that and they'd be like, Lisa, what the hell are you doing? You know, why are you reading a teen magazines? And I would say, well, and I want to keep abreast with what's going on. I don't want to be, you know, in the, I, like, I really want to be abreast. So I'm that kind of a person. And the thing that I, the thing that I most, most, most am happy about me is the fact that I am not stubborn, okay? I'm not somebody who doesn't listen to advice, who, who sticks to her own ideas and won't move ahead. I'm somebody who's willing to at least listen and go, hmm, how can I apply that to what I like, don't like, etc., etc. okay? So, uh, having said that, so that's why I would read these magazines so that they would keep me abreast with the latest. And... 
So a lot of people always tell me, what's your secret for being so young? So first of all, I am not nor young nor old. I am healthy and energized. That's because I eat fresh foods, food, <laughs> I drink water, uh, I sleep my eight, eight hours, I stretch every morning. So I do, I take care of my teeth. So I do all these things that, you know, if you combine them, it's a chain reaction. If you do this, this gets better, this gets better, this gets better, you know, kind of a thing. And so uh, I have this appearance of being uh, youthful, but in, in I am just, I, in reality, I just am. So me wearing these kind of pants that are not necessarily the best look for my body, but hey, they're friggin' comfortable, okay? And I'm sorry, but it's with the in, you know? It's with the in, and it has a certain allure, and it has a certain acceptance, if you want. Not that I need to be approved or accepted by any group, but it has a certain ease of ease of inclusion if you want and uh, that's why it makes it so easy for me to not have issues you know I, because i'm just like oh okay oh okay let's do this way and you know it depends where i'm going obviously if i was going for tea at the ritz carlton you know with mr banker or mrs banker i'm sorry for saying mr banker the internalized misogyny you know mrs banker i'd definitely be wearing you know the camels and the stuff like that. Anyway, this is turning into a long speech. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. That's it, that's all. So, big fat kiss. Thank you for watching this Get Ready With Me uh, video and see you next time. Gros bisous. Hey, you've made it so far. Thank you for watching. This is the perfect time for you to subscribe, like, and get ready to share this video. This will help me create and produce more videos just like this one. Thank you so much.